Yeah! In focus, finally! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for coming on in and stepping on in. My name is Sherelle and I make cruelty-free beauty and vegan lifestyle videos. Uh, so I was going to explain it, but that pretty much explains it for itself. Today's video is going to be all about my top five favorite face oils. I want to do this series a top five of a couple different categories only because I this year decided to not do my top yearly favorites because I didn't buy a lot of makeup through 2016 uh, because we were moving and um, you know I was trying to figure out what I was, where I was going with my channel and where I was going to put all the things that I bought. I just decided to uh, forego that video and just do my top five favorites. So this is gonna be a top five face oils or beauty oils, whatever you want to say, and we'll jump right into the video. Uh, number one for probably the past two years for me has been this Best Damn Beauty Oil. This is from a beauty vlogger here on the tube on YouTube. If you guys don't know, it's by Nicole Guerrero. Oop. I really love Nicole Guerrero. I feel like anything that she does, I want to support. I have the beauty oil and a couple other things. I won't talk about it now because this video will be forever and a day. But I really like this. It has the scent of rose to it. And I'll just read what the back says. It says, the best in beauty oil is the queen of all beauty oils, supercharged with antioxidant-rich fruit oils. This to die for formula hydrates an even skin tone, giving you the best damn complexion ever. And you can use this literally all over your body because this is a smaller uh, bottle. I wouldn't like suggest that. I would stick to your face and if you want to do your cuticles, great. I use about two to three drops of this. This bottle is actually empty. I have another one um, in my other stash. This one is a one ounce bottle and I, I don't remember how much I paid for it because it was a while ago. And when I get things, I like to do the discount. So if you subscribe to her newsletter, she will email blast you and let you know, oh, we're having buy one, get one or 50% off, 25% off, whatever it is. That's what I really like to pick up on beauty oils. Beauty oils can be a lot. I mean, a lot, really Cuba, beauty oils can cost you a lot for a little bit, a bit of product. So I like to see when things are going on sales and stuff. This in here has sunflower oil, olive oil, or coconuts, rose. There's just a lot of good things for your skin in here. So I can recommend this. This is one of my top five for the year. And another one of my top favorites for forever. I was able to work with this company at the beginning of 2016, if I'm not mistaken, I worked with them on beautybuzzdaily.com. I wrote a whole article on the different oils that they sent. When you do order from them, they send you how to use the oils and care and all that stuff in the package. And I thought that was so great. Beautifully packaged, such a nice company, great people to work with. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I did a review. I actually literally like these items and I use them on a daily basis. So this is Cohen Humble Beautifying Oils. This is the Virgin Argan Oil, 100% pure and cold pressed for all skin types. And this one's multi-purpose moisturizing oil treatments. Now, argan oil is great. You can use it on your skin. You can use it on your hair. I like to use it on my hair as well, to, especially when I'm coloring my hair. I like to seal the ends, go a little bit on the roots, just the parts of my hair that, are, that seem to be a little drier. I really like to use argan oil. Um, I use... Uh, passion fruit oil as well uh, and I had another one that I really really liked I can't remember now off the top of my head pressure but I really like this company it tells you how you can use it as well this one is high in essential fatty acids and it's smoothing which is actually really good for your skin and this give you gives you directions as well so apply one to three drops on clean dry skin face neck mix into moisturizer you could use it on your nails cuticles dry patches moisturize so this is small as it if you're a type of person that you have really dry hands during the day pop a couple you know drops in your hand go on your cuticles actually that's really smart i should put this in my bag but i actually need to reorder this because i probably have like three more drops in here but really really like this company if you want to check them out head on over to their instagram i'll leave their information below and i'll put it on the screen but Cohen Humble love you guys love 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 you guys they stand for such great things so go and support their smaller company but they get the job done and I, done and I really really like them so yeah so we will move on another oil that I really really like this is a part of my top five this is a rose hip oil 
um, rose hip seed oil. This replenishes and restores. I was reading on uh, oil that helps to combat wrinkles. I am getting older. We all are getting older, but this is a, um, an oil that will help with wrinkles and aging of the skin. This promotes cellular renewal and turnover, which is wonderful for your, for your skin. I actually like to take a couple of drops of this, some coconut oil, rub it in my hands, and I'll pat it all over my face. You can ask David. I use this pretty much every Every single night and if I feel like my eyes are really like under hydrated I will go back in again put maybe two drops here in the pot you can even use one because it goes a long way but I like overdo it sometimes I just go in with my ring fingers and I'll pat 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 right underneath the um, underneath your lower what is this under eye sorry <laughs> Duh. Uh, and I really do do I really do like this um, let me see what it says here. Okay, so it says a rich amber colored oil from the ripened fruit of the rose known as hips contains natural retinal acid, vitamin A, and which is sought after for helping to replenish, restore, mature, or sun exposed skin. So that's good to know. And it says you can use two to three drops on fingertips, massaging to clean dry skin. And you can use it as a body oil as well, massage um, your scalp if you wanted to, but I stick to the face. This is a smaller bottle. I ordered this off of either Amazon or iHerb. Um, I can't remember right now. But I really like this. This is cold pressed and organic. I normally aim for that when I'm doing oils, cold pressed, organic, because you know you're getting the best of the best. So that is for that. So, so far I've talked about the Best Damn Beauty, which is a bunch of different oils in one. I've talked about Argan Oil, which is good for your skin and your hair, and Rose Hip, which I really, really like that you could use for your um, facial skin, your scalp, massage if you want. Mm -hmm. your hair um, so I'll go on to the next one this one is one that I like live and die by this is coconut oil and ooh nicely I got my makeup on it this one this huge bottle comes from raw apothecary I really like them so far so good I've been using them for the past couple weeks now you probably can't see how much I've used but a little goes a long way coconut oil is kind of like the the cure-all fix-all in the oil world I feel like personally you can use this for so many different things. You can whip this into different body butters. If you want to literally uh, moisturize your body from hair, scalp, to the bottom of your toes, it is A-OK. -okay. This is perfectly safe to do. I personally love this. Like I said, I'll use a, a, a little scoop worth. I'll put it in the palm of my hand, let it melt a little bit, drop a couple uh, drops of the rosehip oil and apply it all over my face. This is something that is super hydrating. It doesn't really leave me greasy because I make sure that I rub it in and work it in. I sleep with this overnight. When I wash my face in the morning, I do like to go in with more coconut oil. I feel like it's really important. Let me see if it says um, what it's really good for here. So you can use it for cooking as well, but it's uh, great for... Uh, great for dairy-free and vegan diets. I'm vegan, so that's even better. Um, healthy alternative to butter. Great natural moisturizer to use on hair and skin. So I'll leave all the benefits of coconut oil down below. But this is another one that is pure, extra virgin, unrefined, bleach-free, cold-pressed, certified organic, all that good stuff. Coconut oil is so good. It replenishes the skin. It just makes your face and your skin look more hydrated and plump. And that is something that I really love. And did I say I use it in my hair as well? You could use it in a hair mask if you wanted to. Uh, to each their own. I'll do it every once in a while. I'll run it through my hair. Uh, and I just love coconut oil. Did I use it? I didn't use it this time around. But I normally do. I'll put a little bit on my hands and I'll just rake it through like that. Put it on this part like in the front where it can tend to get a little drier because we're constantly touching it and I'll keep it moving so that is another oil that I really really like and here's another brand that I like they have a different a couple different this is a tester tube I couldn't find the big one uh, but this is from thesis beauty this is another company that I worked with on beautybuzzdaily.com I really love them uh, this is another small company I love to support small owned companies, small run businesses, whatever you want to say. This is from Thesis Beauty. This one smells so good. Between this, this is the eye serum and the dry, is it dry skin lullaby. I'll pop a picture here for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. 
This is amazing. If you don't want to go through the steps of putting, you know, coconut and rose hip, this eye serum is amazing. The Dry Skin Lullaby Serum for the whole face is amazing. Thesis Beauty, thank you so much. I love, I love them. I love them. I love them. You can head on to their website and purchase from them. I believe they're still doing the program where you purchase, you get points, and points are rewarded into like cash to use on the site. If not, I think you can find them on i. I think I was on iHerb.com as well, maybe Amazon. Um, but I really love Thesis Beauty. This has moisture and antioxidants. You know what? Let me go on the website and read what exactly is in here. Give me one second. I really love this company. I was speaking with them one on one when I was working with Beauty Buzz Daily. Such nice people. Um, and they had no clue who I was and you know, I just told them like I really love your guys' stuff I would love to do a review. Are you up for it? And they were you know super up for it So I think that's really cool. So hold on give me one second Let me read all the benefits of that eye serum Okay, so the brand that I was talking about is Thesis Beauty. I really love their website because it's easily shoppable. If you can see, ah, this is probably washing me out, but this is their website. It's thesisbeauty.com, and I really enjoy them. I love their labels. I use their um, eye makeup remover, and I think it's really, really great. It's just, it's an oil base. It, takes all your makeup off it's super gentle but right now i'm talking about the eye serum so here it says this superbly moisturizing organic eye serum is 100 percent preservative free chemical free natural and vegan handcrafted from 99 percent certified organic oils all natural vitamin e sustainable for day and night use goes perfectly under makeup so um, a little goes a long way. Like I said, a lot of these oils, a little bit goes a long way. So if you're thinking, ah, you know, $20 for an oil, they really last a long time. So keep that in mind and also make sure that you store them in a place cool, dry and all that stuff. So nothing disturbs the uh, makeup of them. But let me see if I can get the ingredient list really fast. So this oil here, it has organic grapeseed, jojoba, argan, rosehip, Palma Rosa, lavender essential oil, and blue chamomile oil. And those are all organic. And that is such a powerhouse of oils to have in one serum, which is amazing. Uh, I, I really said I wanted to only talk about five. But the other one from them that's really good is their, um, let me see what it's called. It's the, yes, Organic Facial Serum Lullaby for Dry Skin. Like you guys know, I have dry skin. Since moving to California, it hasn't been as bad, but in New York, oh, it was terrible. And I said, listen, instead of complaining about having dry skin, try to find ways to combat that. So I literally took it to the internet and tried every single thing I could think of. And Thesis Beauty, their organic uh, skincare that I was telling you about for the face really, really did help me. And it is amazing. I love it so, so, so much. Um, let me just tell you really quick what's in this one. I wonder if it's the same or similar ingredients. Let me see. Uh, their face oil has jojoba, sunflower, argan, grapeseed, rosehip, macadamia, palmarosa, ooh, patchouli, that's what I smell in there, mm, love, uh, geranium and orange essential oils, and I think, oh, and, uh, vitamin E, I think that is such a powerhouse for the skin, so, yeah, if you guys have dry skin, I would highly recommend trying the overnight, uh, replenishments, as in using serums for your skin, not exactly sure what I was saying because the camera died and I had to search for my other SIM card. So, like I was saying, all these beauty oils are great for your skin. If you have any ones that I should try out, please let me know down below. And tell me what you want to see for the next top five. I have literally brushes, blushes, foundation, chapstick, lip gloss, lipstick. Just let me know which one you want to see next so I can record it and um, edit it and all that stuff. And yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. I do post every Monday and Thursday. And I also have a vlog channel if you do not know. Yes, I switched over to having a vlog channel as well. And I post on my vlog channel once a week on Sundays. So I'd love to have you guys a part of that family as well. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you loved watching a lot of these favorites. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well dressed, and not stressed. And I'll see you there.